Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Lessons at Fingertips. Here we discuss on some important topics in really simple words so that it's easy for you all to understand and keep things in mind. So today our topic of discussion is going to be neutrality of money. Well, neutrality of money is basically a classical concept, not a Canadian one, right? So we are going to discuss on uh, using some bullet points like what is a basically this concept of neutrality of money and after that we will discuss the four panel diagram of the classical economics to prove the neutrality of money so let's begin the first and the foremost thing is neutrality of money implies what that neutral effect on the economy right that is change in the money stock will have no longer an influence on the level of real output employment or rate of interest so basically if there is any change in the stock of money right in the stock of money if there is any change it will not have any effect on the real variables remember this on the real variables now what are the things in the real variables under real variables it can be real output it can be employment it can be rate of interest so these things remains unaffected by the change in the money stock next thing is by patenting he said what an uniform increase in quantity of money will cause a proportionate increase in the equilibrium price of the commodity and leaves the equilibrium rate of interest unaffected so you see equilibrium price is not a real variable price is not a real variable so equilibrium price will proportionately change with the change in the stock of money but what will not change is rate of interest. Rate of interest is real variable. Got it? What will not change is full employment level. Why? Because that is again a real variable. Isn't it? The third point is money is neutral when it does not affect relative prices and leaves the interest rate unaffected. So the interest rate is going to be remain unaffected. The price of that particular commodity is going to change but the related commodity is not going to change. Isn't it? So that time we call it money as neutral. Let's go to the quantity theory of money. What does that imply? MV equals to P into T. What is M and V? Money supply and velocity of money must be equals to P into T. Now here we consider what as per the neutrality of money, velocity of money and the T is remaining constant. Right? What is happening is that we are showing the proportionate change in money ke wajay se, money sa, stock of money ke wajay se, there is change in the price. But it, thus money is neutral whose main function is to determine the general price level at which goods and services are going to be exchanged. Got it? So this is the neutral money. Okay? So because of any change in the money supply, there will be change in the price of the goods and services. Not the price of the related goods and services. Remember that. That becomes again a real variable. Okay. So the real variable is going to remain unaffected. So I hope you guys have liked this video. Please do hit a like and share with your friends. Subscribe to my channel for more such informative videos. Thank you. Bye bye.